Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Now this is a video that I, sometimes I, uh, I don't look forward to making because one of my projects kind of failed. Um, it didn't all the way fail, but it definitely partially failed. Uh, but if you all know my videos, you know that, that I'm not scripted. I, I don't sit here and rehearse them. A lot of times they're just like first runs of what's happening. And so if I'm making a mistake, you guys can see it. And I like to keep that there and keep it real because there's a good chance that you guys can make that same mistake and then we can learn how to, how to not do that, to get around that. Um, you know, that's the kind of realism you don't get when you watch videos made by companies promoting their own products, right? That are so scripted, it's just like, please go away. Anyways, I just made this thing for Christmas lights because um, I think most everyone enjoys Christmas decorations, uh, but not everyone enjoys putting them up or taking them down. Uh, now, I think I kind of think that like for you ladies, it might be a little bit therapeutic doing the, you know, doing the decorations, actually spending the day, the process of putting them up and taking them down. For us men, it's not therapeutic. It's, it's actually a little bit torturous for us. Uh, don't know why, it just is. We don't get that, uh, you know, that sense of calm and just, you know, relaxing with doing it. We're just like, is it done yet? Is it done? You know? <laughs> so I, I built here, I'll show you some little video here. I built this little roller thing which is amazing for putting up Christmas lights around trees and stuff like that. And you can even stick it on a pole to get over your head. And so that part of the project was definitely not a failure. I put up over 300 feet of uh, lights on this one tree in, in three minutes, okay? Uh, maybe three, three and a half minutes. I mean, something like that. It was under five minutes. It was amazing. I even got it like almost 50, like 15 feet up. Then, all right, come taking it down. Here, here's the problem. So I started making this video the other day. I was out there, I was excited. I knew taking it down wasn't gonna be as easy. So I was gonna try to do it up from the ground, you know, and not, I mean, on the pole, you know, it just spins on the pole. So I was gonna try to do it by hand and then just roll it up, right, as I go around. I figured if, as long as I, like, stand way out to the side and make kind of a straight line with the tree, you know, as much as I could and not up and down, that I should be able to pull it off. You know, a little bit of flick in it, you know, because I know it's gonna catch a little bit, you know, in the branches, a little bit. Well, the the lower part was fine. It actually started off pretty good. You can see some video here. Um, you know, up until about eight, nine feet high, I was doing it. It was coming off. Definitely wasn't as fast as putting it up, but it was coming down, and I was happy. But 10 feet plus, that's where I ran into a problem, uh, because the angle, even standing far away, it was just, just too much. And I've said this many times to you guys before, is if you start getting frustrated with something, walk away because the more you frustrated you get, uh, it's just gonna build. The frustration will build on top of itself. So, didn't take my own advice there. Uh, I kept trying to flick it, started to pull on it, and then I felt it pop. Now, it wasn't a full separation, but I knew it popped somewhere in one of the bulbs. And so my frustration just like doubled right there at that moment. So then I start pulling harder, I'm like, crap, come on, come on, come on. And it just breaks completely in two. And I guess technically I could still fix it at that point, but I was just like, screw it, we're just ripping it out of the tree and I'll buy some more lights next year. I'll find some on sale between now and then, hopefully, and, and just do that. So, so the good parts uh, of this project was, is putting it up super fast. And taking it down is not bad, as long as you stay within the eight to nine feet max. Uh, for taking it down if you're trying to do it from the ground like like you know like me uh, but what I want to do is one of my and this is kind of goes to one of my New Year's resolutions is I want to try to be better every day now no, I'm, not, I'm not doing it uh, I need to try a little bit harder uh, I generally have always failed with my resolutions but they've generally like been big goals you know like I need to do this you know lose this many pounds of weight or uh, be able to do like 100, 100 push-ups a set you know, by like this certain date, something like that. And I always end up failing and giving up and just saying, screw it and just going right back to where I was. So I'm gonna try something different this year uh, with consistently trying to do a little bit better every day. Um, so even though this was a failure, we're gonna try to turn this into, um, into not a failure, okay? Into an accomplishment, but it's gonna be a slow thing. I'm gonna spend some time thinking of how to build something to help spin this, you know, to take it out of the tree. Now I could have put some tape on the center thing to hold the little roller still, but then I would have had to sit there with a the paint pole and twist it like that. And I figured, and doing it above my head too. So I figured, man, my, my wrists are gonna fall off <laughs> before I get this thing rolled up. It was like 300 feet. So I'm gonna try to some, come up with something cooler, but you know, realistic, something you guys could even still build at home. Um, and 
when I get that, hopefully I will come up with something amazing this fall and get that upgraded. And uh, as soon as I get those videos built, it's going to be in the future. Uh, but depending on when you're watching this video, when that video is ready, I will have video links in the description down below. Okay, so you will, you will be able to find the video once it actually, you know, happens. Other than that, you know, I hope you guys have just a great day, a great week. It's a little bit better every day. Please subscribe to my channel, check out my website. Another video for you guys to see as well. Thanks again.